It's the final card game! <laughs> yes, this week on Clubhouse Games, it is the 51st game, and indeed the final game of the series. That is crazy, man. That it, it has been a journey, to be sure. I loved every second of it. Let's go, Spider Solitaire. There are lots of types of solitaire. In this one, but there's only one type of spider. Of it, King through ace. I thought it was spider solitaire. Why are there ten piles? That is a very good question. I figured there would if just be eight. Moves, I'm so obsessed. Cards from the deck. Way to put a damper on the final episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks Clubhouse Games for ruining the final game! So I think you might take this too, because I don't really know how to play Spider Solitaire that much! It's coming back to me. I've always been a Klondike guy. I think I think maybe I tried Free Cell once or twice, is that what this is? Or is that something different? Something very different. So, Spider Solitaire, they want you to create eight rows Ace through king. Bookmark? Yeah, I I guess I had what a- What were you doing? I Let's, guess I had a file going. What, what were you doing, huh? <sighs> what 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 kind of mess were you messing with? I mean, when this game came out, I probably tried it once and then didn't come back. So let's see what standard play has. Yeah, go ahead and delete that. No! Oh, the history, no! No! Okay. So basically what you want to do is I it is follow suit. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Ooh. But uh, essentially you are creating... F uh, f oh, well, there's five and five now, so it doesn't actually match. Just match everything up. Suit to suit. Is and it suit to suit or is it... Uh, oh, I guess it is? Yeah. So you'll need to uh, create uh, king through ace going up and down. But basically what Spider does that changes the formula just slightly is if you have a matching sequence, like for example this 10 or 9, you can move the entire stack instead of just the one card. So, that's it. That's like you can the in, basics. Like you can in Ordinary Solitaire. God bless it, these buttons. There's only four of them, I know. There we go. Uh, just like uh, Klondike, you can double press the button and it'll automatically move the card you want to move. See, for convenience sake, just to make it go slightly faster. I do like the sake of convenience. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's it's all coming back now. I haven't played this in years. You can go up and down, I see. Yep, yep. Yeah, just as long as you're able to build uh, King through Ace. And I think after you create King oh, through Jack. Ace, it actually gets rid of the cards. So that's handy. Can you king the ace there? Uh, no. No? Because it goes ace is one, king is 13, and you need to make one through 13. So you can't stack on top. But that just goes on. What? Ah, whatever. You'll see. You'll see. Whatever. You'll see. Whatever. You. See, like, is it. Wait, or is that something else? What are you looking at? The four king ace. Four king ace? Because the ace is there just fine. Right, because that's one. And it's on top of there. Now we just need to put two through queen in between these two, and that'll be a complete stack. Can you move the king? Nope. Just I the ace. See. Um. Let's see. No, that won't work. Eight to seven. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm kind of stuck here. It's eight to seven. It's right there. What do you mean? D d oh, th there's a nine in front of it. But there's an 8 and a 9. You can probably move the whole thing, can't you? No, because it has to go 8, 9. Bottom up. But you can go down too, can't no, you? No, you can't! What the fuck? Obviously you can't! It's only one sequence. <sighs> so yeah, I'll just go ahead and take this one. It's fine. <laughs> don't let me have it so soon. Well, uh, it's, well it's kind of hard to offer challenge to the game. I don't really know how to play too well. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew you were going to take all these solitaire rounds anyway. It's easy to learn. Difficult to master. As soon as you get it. I like the ones that yeah. are hard to learn, easy to master. Like juggling. 
<laughs> God, they're giving me nothing. Of course, I fat fingered the draw card <laughs> button at the beginning like 10,000 times. Only a slight exaggeration. Yeah, now I, I'm having trouble focusing on the cards I'm actually looking for. Not looking too good. Let's see if we can bring it back. Bring it back! <coughs> bring it back! God, I remember that song. That's the only thing I remember from it. Yeah, because that was the most memorable part of it. I just remember, let's bring it back, and then Lil John goes, bring it back, and that's all I remember. Oh, I, I love Lil John. I don't, I don't even know if he repeats the measure or anything. <laughs> it's, just, that's just all I got. It's so funny to hear it before. Oh, I think I fucked it. Yeah, I fucked it, unfortunately. Play a hint. Yeah, let's see what it has. Do this, idiot. What? That's not normal. So apparently you don't need to follow suit. You just need to match the, the numbers. That's... What? Now you're stuck. Okay, now I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you mind if I try again? And not fat finger the draw card thing? Now that we've, yeah, now that we've got the, <clears throat> the crash <throat> course, the refresher. Right, 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 the, right. The, the remedial course taken care of. Let's, let's, I, let's I could have going. sworn it was only by, by same suit. I guess I had a false memory there. Oops. I did not mean to lead you astray. That was not my intention. It is not my end game. Because now I should just be able to fly through this entire thing. You know what my end game is? Winning. The one where Thanos uh, gets killed at the end. Oh. And Thor actually is able to take him down? Yeah. That's a pretty good end game. Okay, it does have to be the same suit because now you see I can't move. I couldn't move that stack because Luigi's on top of it. Have I ever told you about my uh, secret Ant-Man theory or, uh, you know, idea? Going up Thanos' butt? Yes, it, it does have to do with that. So what's the rest of the theory? Because I thought that was where it ended. So we're, so, like, it's it's the final battle. We're actually going to deploy the plan. Uh-huh. Like, it's it's getting desperate, you know. We're getting, yeah. we're getting decimated here. And so uh, Hope comes up to Scott and goes, Scott, we have to do this. And he's like, Really? <laughs> it's like, yes. Yes. And then he's like, well, well come on, there's, there's got to be something else we can do. There's got to be anything else we can do besides that. But his hesitation is what dooms this timeline. Because Scott is just not comfortable doing this kind of thing. Just doesn't want to go up Thanos' butt. We need to make him more comfortable with this kind of thing. Uh-huh. So Doctor Strange goes up to Hope Van Dyne. And he says, Hope, I have a very important mission for you, for the sake of the universe. Uh-huh. To save the universe, you have to peg Scott. <laughs> Hold on, I think my, uh, my fanfiction.net got leaked. Three missing issues I didn't pick up yet, and then we get to the fourth issue that resolves that. Skip to the end and says, Scott. We have to do this. It's time. And then Scott looks back and goes, No problem! That's... You know... That makes sense. You are the bigger Ant-Man fan between the two of us. That's why it's way more... That's, that's why writing is so much fun for these kinds of things. Scott Lang, your destiny is to go up Thanos' butt. <laughs> Hope Van Dyne, your destiny <laughs> is to pay, is to pay <laughs> Scott Lang so that he goes up Thanos' butt. <laughs> Just asks, like, whoa, what's happening? He's like, oh, don't worry, I'll go gentle. And I think the best part is in, in kind of like the, you know, the false ending, it just doesn't work. He's just like, oh! No, that's it, it works. Totally yeah. works. Because if, it, if it's a false ending, then what? I just wasted your time. No, I mean, like, an outtake or something like that. Oh. But, uh, it's just like, funk. Huh. Well, that was weird. And then Dr. Strange goes, oh. Make, make sure you kiss his ear afterwards, too. Shoot. <laughs> Didn't think that through. <laughs> and Dr. Strange looks over the camera and just does the oops kind of face. Oh, darn. I guess I've doomed Scott Lang. Maybe that's just the, like, the Avengers hazing incident. It's just like, I, don't, <laughs> I bet we can get Ant-Man to go up Thanos' butt. We are very negative on this. I think it'll work perfectly. 
Well, I never said it wouldn't work. That, well, you, you, you did say it wouldn't work. It's, it's like, oh, we're, we're gonna immediately kill him. It's a hazing. It's not a hazing ritual. This is the way that we save the world. Go I just, his butt, go big, blam, he's he's filleted like, a, like, I, like cornflakes. I just meant Scott Lang <laughs> just being pranked into going up Thanos' butt. Why does everybody hate Scott Lang so much? Because the second and third Ant-Man movies fucking suck. No, they don't! <laughs> oh my god, they are not interesting at Endgame all. Endgame is an overrated pile of garbage! <laughs> Ant-Man 2 is the only good MCU movie! <laughs> I, re I really don't mean that, but... <laughs> I, I, I believe the first part, but uh, Ant-Man 2 is one of my favorite uh, MCU movies. It's, not, it's, it's my personal favorite. Good. And people just don't get it, and it upsets me. Eh. I've got issues with it. What's your, what, what's your issue? I could probably ex explain it right away. Uh, it's not funny. It's not funny? It's, it's not also funny. not interesting. What are mean, you the, talking about? The only interesting part of it was the ending. I'm just... What the fuck are you talking about? Did you even pay attention to the movie? Yeah, I didn't like it. What about the part, like the, the, the that that opening part where they were dealing with Sonny to get some tech they need for their for their quantum tunnel? Damn it! But he is catch, but he's catching on to what they're doing. It's like, well, wait a minute, all these parts you're making me get. Well, I gotta say, you're doing something quantum tunnely, and I wanna know what it is. And uh, and uh, so so why don't we work together? And Hope says, no, we're just gonna take our parts and go. And it's like, oh well, I'm gonna have to keep this then and your money, so just for my hurt feelings. So she goes in. And, uh, shows up the new wasp suit. It can fly and also do all the ammo. Oh, it's a great, great scene, you know? It, 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 yeah, it, she throws, like, a salt shaker and it gets, it gets big and it blocks the door and, yeah, they shoot the channel. But then, at, like, at the end of it, this mysterious, unknown assailant comes in. There you go. And Sonny goes, what the hell is that? So nobody knows what it is. It's brilliant. The part that I, that I champion is uh, the scene where they're all tied up and then uh, Bill Foster comes out, Lawrence Fisher comes out, and explains what he's doing. And yeah, okay, it's a, it's a slow part, I understand. It's perfectly timed, though. It takes five minutes exactly. Exactly five minutes. Before uh, Scott's phone goes off and it's Cassie asking for her soccer cleats. I just wanted to see what would happen if I got you riled up about your favorite movie. I would, I would rant about it. Yes, you would. Like, you want me to go on? I'll go Book, on. Hook, line, and sinker. I'll go on if you want me to. Nah. And the third one, it just proves that, that Scott is best dad. Hmm. I won't argue that. Is a very good dad. Oh, but Kang isn't the right villain for, for Ant-Man. It's like, who fucking says? <laughs> It's the MCU, they can do what they want now. You'll buy it. I, I, I didn't like the, I didn't know what to do. the waste on uh, on Kang. He's so easily beaten when he's a very interesting Marvel villain. But then that was just to tie into Loki Season 2, so you'd watch that. And you see, y'all are fucking different. I am a different breed than all you people, because... Apparently. You know... I've always wanted to meet oh, somebody okay. who's always wrong. Oh, Kang's so weak. You know, he was such a pushover and all that. You know, who cares? Yes, he was just so... He gets defeated by Pym's ants. Which was very weird to see on screen. It was amazing to see. I am I am on my feet just... <laughs> I, I, I'm stomping my feet. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> he just walks up to him and just, just stands in front of him and stands there. And he gets eaten to death by ants! You don't fuck with Dr. Hank Pym! Oh no, what are you doing? I don't know! <laughs> oh man. I don't know what I'm doing. I know you don't. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Like, there's t there's too much information on screen. There is, yes. It's, it's... I'm also making you think about Ant-Man. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're screwed on this part, unfortunately. I don't see any... Oh, uh, the three. Oh, Stack two, the three. Let's see again. Come on, get happy. Okay, now you need to draw more cards. Spider's mean! Uh, uh let's see. So... Uh, yeah. When you're there... 
Uh, Luigi uh, first stack Luigi onto Peach in fifth stack, and then take Peach and put it on top of Mario. So that's freed up the two. I so hate, now I hate that. What? Put the. Uh, it should go there. No, it shouldn't. Put the eight. Nope. Ace on top of the two. Ace on top of the two. And it? then the six on top of the seven. Uh, and that'll free up another card. So ace on top of the two. Uh, ninth stack. The fuck? Gotta go back. Man. That's... And then uh, ten on top of the jack. And then jack on top of the queen. Duh. There you go. Alright, that's freed up some things. Take me away, hints. <laughs> you know what you gotta do. Take me away. Oh, that... Yeah, there. Uh... Uh, yeah, a nine on top of the ten would work. Because now you freed up a jack there. And now, alright. Okay. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, three on top of the four. Yeah, so take uh, so, take uh, that three and free up the jack. There. Oh shit, that it. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then four on top of the five. Uh, uh, four of hearts. Nine on top of the five of hearts. Right down there. Right there. Okay. Or e either or. So now and you got a free jack. That. There you go. And now you can put that jack on top of the queen over there well, in I stack can, four. I, I can put this jack all right. You get eh, so eh, violent. Eh, eh. There you go. And then, uh... Let's see. You could put... Hmm... Let me think. Let's see what Hints tells you. I could put the ace down there and then... Okay. Oh, that's actually not a bad... Strategy. There. Yeah, because then you could put four down there, there and then put Jack on top of Queen. That'll free up a card. Seven to the eight. Okay. All right. That's good. Cool. <laughs> put the two down here and maybe free up another card, perhaps. Nope. Does that work like that? I hate this game. <laughs> but now, okay. Let's do this over here, I suppose. The two, three. I really want to see Ant-Man again. <laughs> like seriously, I've only seen Ant- I've, I've, I've seen Endgame like two times. I've seen Ant-Man 2 like 18 times. Ugh. I think I've gone in an Ant-Man right before on this series. You have. Well, great, uh, great way to end it. Four on top of five. Uh, stack number nine. Yeah. yeah, those are some good moves. So you can put four on top of five and stack three. There. And then put three, two, one on top of the four, all the way on the right. So stack number eight to stack number ten, the three of hearts. Oh, put that here. on top of the four of hearts. Over there, put that over here. Oh, suck a dick. Here you go. Oh, okay. Go one more round. I'm going to give it to, like no matter how this goes, I'm going to give it to you. Oh, thanks. Because you know what you're doing, and you were basically. Dictating what I did for the back half. I, of that. I was just, I, I just want to win because not a lot of people win Spider Solitaire. I didn't think it's a thing you could do. It's a very mean game, but I, I've seen, I haven't seen people win it. But in that rare instance when they do, it's just like, oh wow, I, I think I'm in the Matrix now. It's, it's like you're playing Klondike Solitaire, and every time you draw a card, it's like, okay, and then it just shuffles the deck, and then re redeals all the cards on, on, on the field. Adding a new layer of cards on top of everything just ruins my brain. Like, how many fucking decks of cards are in this game? Uh, let's see. Two and a half. Two and a half? What do you mean half? Because there's four of each suit. Yeah. And then double that. And then there's two extra. Because it looks like there's no, oh, wait, no, there's three possibly three. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. You see, that's the cool thing about Klondike Solitaire. It only needs one deck of cards. It doesn't only need one. like eight deck decks of cards. So only just the one. one. Just the one. It's the Uno. Oh, there we go. Uh, not that, but that. And no, I just sit there. Ah, damn it. Ugh. No, that's fine. What we got here? I told you I picked up Ant Man's autobiography, right? Did you really? Oh yeah. That uh, that Scott Lang Scott Lang's autobiography that he had in Ant Man Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's it's a real thing, huh? I mean, 
I I now completely agree with your statement earlier saying uh, fans of Marvel products will buy anything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, well, like, it's this was a book. Yeah. Somebody had to take the time to sit down and write an actual tangible book of just a fictional throwaway joke. Mm-hmm. I mean that's what's been, that's what Scott's been doing ever since Ant Man Two. He's been going on tour with you know, he's been going on book tours with his uh, Look Out for the Little Guy book. But it is a real thing that exists. I kind of love that actually. I love going the extra mile for a joke. I love that kind of shit. Fuck. Ah oh, damn it! There's nothing I can do. Now I'm just about to add an extra layer on top of everything. Ah, uh, actually. There we go. At least one more card out there. I imagine if there was any uh, spider solitaire snobs Jesus. out there looking at our gameplay and just throwing up right now. Eh, who cares? They do, apparently. Well, if they exist. If they existed, yeah. See, this is why I never sweat the small stuff like what people think about my gameplay. You know, the Spider Solitaire Players Association, the SSPA, is going to be on our ass after this. <laughs> the, the spa. Spa. Look out, everyone! It's the spa. What, what could be the S the SSPAA, the Spider Solitaire Player Association of America? <laughs> oh no, the American. It could could be North America, then it'd be Spana. Spana! Oh no! <laughs> Open up! It's Spana! No! They're here for my gameplay. Put away your cards now. Place them back inside the box. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna get tackled by a Spana. It's gonna be sad. Especially when it's fully televised. It's like, we, we are here at the location of the Niskel and UDJ as they're being taken down for being really bad at Spider Solitaire. Well, hey, I'd, I'd rather uh, take on the Spanas than the Holy Euchre Order of, five, of 513. You gotta watch out for those Jesus, Euchre players, man. Yeah. Ruthless! Ruthless sons of bitches! There was a group of uh, Euchre players in high school, I remember, and I uh, sat with them like the first two weeks of freshman year in high school. And I just sat there, they're playing this dumb little card game, and these are boring people, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go anywhere else but here. It's like, wow, I really wish I cared. I mean, I would apologize to all the Euchre players out there, but, uh, are they even out there? <laughs> they even still exist? The Holy Order of Euchre. It's like the Templars versus the Assassins. Alright, come on. There's gotta be something. Okay, there is something. No, that doesn't help me, video game! Oh yeah, it does. Never mind. Okay, now it doesn't help me. Oh, okay, okay, game. You seem to actually have some helpful advice. I'll give you that. Did you know that there were jokes in Ant-Man 3 that uh, paid off from Ant-Man 2? Uh, yes, I did know that. Like when Scott and Agent Wu talk about getting, like, you want to get dinner? Like, like to di dinner? What? I, I, I thought maybe you'd want, like, we just, you, you, you want, forget it. In the third movie, they got dinner! Perfect! Hey! Callback and the completion of a punchline. You love to see it. Yeah. And it's like when people say that it's fuck. the it's the weakest MCU movie out there, I'm thinking, how, why, cite your resources. Personal enjoyment isn't enough. You didn't like it, that's one thing, but to call it the worst of the MCU movies out there, you got you gotta back that up with some evidence, my oh, man. I'm definitely not gonna you gotta, you call gotta it the worst. You gotta support such a claim like that. Like I can support why Thor 2 is the worst. I think Thor 2 is the worst movie out of all of them, because it's so very dramatic and Shakespearean. And they do this uh hackneyed acting thing where they say something dramatic. And they go, what? They say it dramatically! They shout it at the end for emphasis, and it's just... Well, that's just MCU. <laughs> no, that's, that's specifically Thor! Thor 1 and Thor 2 are do that do that a lot! There's... They made fun of it in Thor 3! Oh, oh dear brother, I am dying, oh dear! That scene was pretty funny. <laughs> the Thor 3 was great. Just making fun of the whole thing. Love it. Oops. No! Yeah, I'm done, I'm calling it. Alright, well, that's Spider Solitaire. That's Spider Solitaire. Well, or, or as I like to call it, Got it. Gross.
Okay. Now it's all over my... T- oh, yeah. and you're wiping it on my knee. Yeah, yeah, well. You know how I don't like spiders in the first place? Oh, <laughs> uh. well, I don't like spider solitaire. Well. Piano. piano. I guess that's all then. Isn't yeah, it? that's everything. It's unfortunate that there weren't 52 Wait, games, but... It? Yep. Come on. <laughs> you always have something to say. Uh-huh. Well. I think we've already there looked at this in one of the Clubhouse yeah. Games videos. Yes, I think we did. Okay. Early in the year. Yeah, so let's play piano. So uh, what's your plan for number 51? Well, it was, or, uh, 52. Sp it was Spider Solitaire. Excuse me, 52. But for 52, uh, I figured that, we see, my idea was that I was going to play uh, Catan. Because mm -hmm. there was a recent version that came up for PS5, but it's very, very rough around the edges. The AI is unfair and the sound balancing is terrible. Okay. So then I figured maybe we could do a live action version of that, but then we have to have cameras and, you know, I have, to, I have to get a pedicure and all that. <laughs> Gotta get a hand modeling job. Not in the cards, not in the cards. So I figured, why not we just kind of look back on all this and just do a Tear Maker episode? Ooh! Just go, I, go, I like that. Go through all the games and rank them all, and maybe we'll do, like, you know, a, like the top three is like a, a rematch of sorts at the end or whatever. I don't know. See where that takes us. Oh dear God! They ported Wii music to Clubhouse games. Wii music. Well, Wii music. Well, the uh, the uh, ordinary order of uh, of of operations has concluded. The games have now ceased. Yeah. So now it's time for the uh, end of game show next week for the Tier Maker finale. See you then. Bye.